together as a team and about getting better every week. And we did that. We got better every single week. And there was a lot of guys on our team that, that hadn't played football before, didn't quite understand what they were getting into, but <laughs> looked a little scared in the first week, maybe two weeks, but <laughs> you guys overcame that. You guys helped each other. The guys that had played before, we talked about that too, helping each other out, playing as a team, working together, sacrificing for your team and for each other. And I'm really proud of you guys because every one of you guys did that. Coach Galante asked you to sacrifice your face. <laughs> and then the year, you were proud to sacrifice your face for, for each other. And uh, our record shows it. We had the, we had the best record in, in Viking football this year. Um, we were this close, guys. Uh, we, we played good football all year long. And, and I hope everyone had fun, because that, that's really what it's about. Having fun, learning how to play the game getting better every week, being able to compete. You guys competed all the way up to the very end. I had a talk with the, with the Bartlett coach last week after the Super Bowl, he called me. And I talked to him prior to that because I shared some film with him um, of, of the, the Zion Mundelein game, which, which they played Mundelein. But uh, I spoke to him last week, he called me, and he said, you know, I just gotta tell you, your group of boys, we're the toughest team that we played all year long. He said, we really believe that the game we played at Carmel High School uh, that Sunday night was our Super Bowl. He said, that was the best game we had all year long. They've blown every other team out, and we beat them up. We beat them up real good. So you should be proud of that. Um, he also shared with me that uh, the kid that you know we were trying to stop all along, number four, he drove him home that night after Carmel, and he said he had to help him out of the car. He knew, he knows for in the future, when he plays Antioch, he better be ready. So I'm real proud of you guys for that, for everything you did all year long. And, and uh, you're a good bunch of kids. We gelled together as a team. I think everybody gets along and got along all year long. A lot of you guys sacrificed, you know, positions that you wanted to play. Um, you did what you had to do for the team, and that's what a team is about, guys. Without that, we, we can't be a team, you know. We, 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 we can't be successful without guys just doing their part. And I believe every one of you guys did that, and, and, and I want to thank you for it, and I really appreciate it. Parents, I appreciate you guys bringing your kids out. I know it's a big commitment, um, but without you guys getting them there and without you guys, you know, again, we can't be a team. You know, if we're practicing with half of our team every night because their parents didn't bring them out, it makes it very difficult, you know, to be successful and to get better every week. So I appreciate you guys doing that for your kids and for our team. Um, it really does mean a lot to us as coaches uh, to, to, to see you guys follow through and, 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 and really uh, help your help your kids and, and, and help your team. So, again, thank you, Coach Galante. Um, yeah, well, first of all, you guys are a very special group of kids. Um, and we're very proud to have a chance to coach you. I thought I would uh, just explain, it's a funny story, I think. Uh, explain my <laughs> sacrifice your face uh, thing that we started chanting there uh, in our huddles. My old wrestling coach, my favorite coach, uh, Coach Zeiger, to get me psyched up for a match or, or in practice when I was getting my face grounded in mats. Anybody who's been around wrestling understands there's a lot of that. And he would get in my face with his hair sticking up and his glasses crooked from us around and he would say, Galante, you gotta sacrifice your face. <laughs> You've got to give extra in order to be a champion. You guys did that. Uh, you did, did great. You really did. Um, and one of the things that I love about sports is it teaches you a lot about life. So you got to learn. You know, you, nobody hands you anything. You got to earn everything. So you guys went after it. You went after hard. And you got, boy, you, you 
played in the we played the division championship. That's that's so cool. All right. So nothing's going to be handed to you in life as you get older. I hope you remember this. You know that sports teaches you things like being competitive, setting goals, achieving those goals, working as hard as you can, and always improving yourself to be better. You're all great kids, great people. You're very coachable. We love that about all of you. We all raised your game throughout the season because of that. So you played with passion. You were probably the thing that I was, I was most proud of as you played as a team, and you were classy. You were classy when we won, you were classy when we lost. And we lost a couple of really, really tough ones. Never ever did I see or hear any of you guys getting down on each other or getting sassy with anybody on the other team. You were a class act all the way, and that made us feel proud. So always continue to do that. Do that whatever you do. And remember that no individual in any team is more important than Thanks for uh, giving, giving us a chance to do